Hey y'all, welcome back to the Southern Cottage. I am Connie and today's video is all about TJ's zigzag braid. So, um, TJ made a fantastic braid and I have made the braid three times. Now you're about to see number four, once last year, twice, just today. <laughs> you're about to see number four. Um, I still screw up but it's easy to fix. So y'all watch me make this braid. Now that I've got the movements and can figure out how to mess up or how to fix my mess ups, I'm gonna be making a ton more, a ton more. These are gorgeous. For this braid, you are going to need your stapler and your scissors, some bling, and I'm gonna use some flat mesh tubing to finish it off. And then I'm gonna choose three different ribbons. This is my diamond mesh and some black and some green. This is 9 16 ribbon and you're going to need three yards of each one. All right, the silver is going to be by itself and I'm going to Put the green and the black doll side to doll side. I am doubling my ribbon. Y'all should be super excited. You should not have to double your diamond mesh. I'm finding the middle. Hold on to it. And then I'm gonna find the middle of this one. Right there is the center. Got your middle here, and then you're going to take your middle, the center of your silver, lay it at an angle across the top of the green and the black. And I like to snug it up where they're just touching right there and pinch it off. Y'all, this is TJ's braid. I'm gonna link her video in the description. This is me making it for the fourth time ever in my life. But here we go. Here is the layout. These two across, there's no need to cut your ribbon. And this one is folded over, okay? Top left-hand side, we're gonna fold it to where it folds against this ribbon and it should come down right next to this one and pinch it. Okay. Take this one, fold it right next to that one and then you're going to go over the other silver. All right. And I'm going to take my green, fold it back behind and that one is going to go across and in front of the other black, okay? We're still gonna work with the same ribbon, tuck it back behind and put it over top of this silver. Same thing we did on the other side, take this the fold should run right beside that, all the way back behind, and then tuck it in front of that silver. Now, this one should be folded directly across, should it? Nope. We're gonna go back to the other side. See y'all, I'm learning as I teach. Y'all don't try to learn this from me. This is me paying homage to my sister and making her beautiful braid. Okay, now, now, this one will go. Will it though? Is that how that goes? 
let me keep going and see if I can get this correct. Because I've watched her video a couple of times. Take it apart. Y'all, we all screw up, okay? <laughs> So, it should have gone in front of that one. That's correct. I think. Yes, just like that. Okay. It does go across. And it tucks behind this silver. And now this one goes up under that silver. There we go. Eventually, this ribbon will tell you how it wants to be folded. So, now... I'm gonna work with this one. It's gonna go down over the back of our silver and behind that black. The silver is going to go across and tuck under the other silver. The black is gonna go back behind and it's gonna run parallel with this silver, but we know we gotta tuck it in front. Then here we go. Like I said, y'all, I'm paying homage to TJ and her braid and uh, making this for y'all. Um, her video will be linked in, in the description. Y'all go watch her for a full tutorial. I had to make this a couple of times to get the movements right. I hope I'm not shaking this camera. I probably am. But once you get going, your hands remember the movements and the ribbon goes, like I said, where it kind of wants to go, where it should go. You fold that, you know it's going to come right next to here, but you got to tuck it in front. And then this one goes behind and in front. You're always either going over and behind or behind and over. All right, I'm going to finish this up and then I will show you how I finish the bottom. We are not going to have any waste on this ribbon, on this braid. Okay, I'm at the bottom of this braid. I'm gonna staple it all the way across, and then I'm gonna trim up all of this excess, but I want you to look. Look at how much we have left. When TJ created this, she created it from a paper weaving video that had no measurements, had no instructions, no sound, no nothing. So she figured this out on her own and the measurements are still a work in progress. But this is not a waste of our ribbon. I am going to cut these <clears throat> into six inch strips. using my Dollar Tree rotary cutter. That one's not quite right. I'm gonna put that in my scrap bin to make some loops with later on because nothing goes to waste. Okay. Same thing with the green and the black. Square that off. So we got two each of the green and the black and a ton of the silver. Okay, I'm gonna go through and put some staples in the bottoms of all of these.
and we are going to completely finish this braid with scraps. Then we're going to put a bow on it and call it done. scared of this braid to begin with but once you get to going on it it kind of makes itself I screwed up a couple of times but it was easy to recover do not be afraid of this braid all right I'm going to start out with putting some of these on the bottom since we have a ton of the silver. We'll put three silver on the bottom. <clears throat> and y'all, there's really no rhyme or reason to this. Fill in, how many do I have of these? And then I have two more of each one of those. All right, let's fill it in. And then I will go green and black. And then we'll put a black here. And then a green here. We're just using up our scrap pieces to finish this braid. And Either we put one there, or we go one on each side. I think I'm going to go one on each side just to make the bottom of this a little bit wider. Now, you could put some bling across there and call it done, but I'm going to take and make just a, um, I don't know what it's called. I call it a, a, a two-loop bow. Y'all, I'll do a bow tutorial here soon. That is not what this video is. Pinch it up in the middle. This flat mesh makes a super cute bow. staple this on right above our loops using the pipe cleaner courtesy of a Cooper crafty bug y'all I was sewing all my bows before this happened before I uh, watched her put a piece of bling right in the middle. And that's it, y'all. If you're worried about those couple of little staples right there, adjust your bow. If it won't stay, put a touch of glue. So pretty. I will be sitting and making a ton of these because that is beautiful and a great addition to any homecoming bow. Okay, y'all, that is it. TJ's braid is beautiful. Don't waste that ribbon that is left. Put it on the bottom. Finishes it off fantastically. 
y'all go make some zigzag braids. I'll link TJ's video um, at the end of this video and in the description. Y'all go give her some love, make some zigzags. Thank y'all so much for joining me. If you're not subscribed, please do so. Click the bell so you're notified every time that I upload or that I go live. I'll see y'all soon. Bye.